How long have you endured the pain? For how long have you been carrying that yoke? How long has the negative pattern continued? How long have you been in that pit? You have carried that yoke alone. You have endured the pain and suffering for too long. You have been cast down longer than normal. That state is not how God wants it to end. That pattern is not the will and orchestration of God. God wants to change the situation. God wants to rewrite the story. God wants to bring an end to that struggle. He wants to make you smile again. He wants to give you victory. With his mighty hand, he shall rescue you and uphold you with his right hand. You may have thought you have seen the end and nothing would change that situation or make you smile again. That situation that surrounds you may have made people tag you as a man or woman living in pain and hardship. You have suffered, you have toiled, you have labored, you have sown, but nothing seems to be working. It seems as if there is no hope in sight and you have accepted your fate or given up. I have come to announce to you today that no pain, no condition, no matter or challenge is bigger or stronger than the mighty hand of God. With his right hand that shows forth power, victory and salvation shall be holding you. His right mighty hand has been stretched forth to help you. His right hand has been put forth to take away the pain and cause you to rejoice again. Our God is a God of principle. Our God is a God that respects protocol. He is God and would not change because of you. He has a standard that we ought to follow to see the working of his mighty hand in our life. The word of the Lord made it explicitly clear that we should ask and we would receive. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. It is the hand of the Lord that would do this. It is his hand that would give you when you ask. It is his hand that would open the door for you. And it is his hand that would enable you to find what you are looking for. You might have found yourself in a terrible condition, struggling with pain, hardship, difficult challenges, loss of a job, terminal illness, or any sort of problem. You don't expect his mighty hand to rescue you when you have not asked, knocked, or sought after him. It is not automatic. It is not a parallel process. You must acknowledge your deficiency and call on him to create a change by his mighty hand. There are no issues, challenges, or pain bigger than his hand can handle because he created everything and caused everything to be. The owner or originator of things is the greatest person who can model things, organize and reorganize things. The children of Israel were having Mary in Egypt until the tables turned against them. From good, the situation changed to bad. Things continued like that. They kept mute and held their peace and nothing seemed to be changing. But when they were fed up, they decided to lift up their voice to God, asking for intervention in the matter. It was their cry to God that activated their delivery. They would have probably remained in the suffering if they didn't call on him, and they probably would not have stayed long as they stayed if they had raised their voice early to God. The Bible pointed out very clearly in Exodus 3, verse 7 through 9, the Lord said, I have in fact seen the affliction, suffering, and desolation of my people who are in Egypt and have heard they cry because of their taskmasters, oppressors, for I know their pain and suffering. 8. 
So I have come down to rescue them from the hand, power of the Egyptians, and to bring them up from that land to a land that is good and spacious, to a land flowing with milk and honey, a land of plenty, to the place of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. 9. Now behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen how the Egyptians oppress them. And then further in verse 20 through 21. So I will reach out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders, which I shall do in the midst of it. And after that, he will let you go. 21. And I will grant these people favor and respect in the sight of the Egyptians. Therefore, it shall be that when you go, you will not go empty-handed. It was their cry and call for help that attracted the attention of God, and by his mighty hand, he decided that he would rescue them. It was also by his mighty hand that the Red Sea was parted, smoothed the armies of Egypt into the sea when they tried to chase them, flattened the walls of Jericho, and led them into the promised land. The hand of God is big and matter and can perform the unthinkable and the unimaginable. Have you engaged that hand to take away the pains and the reproach in your life? You can't succeed or see ease if the hand of the Lord has not permitted it to be. In Psalms 104 verse 28, and 145. You give it to them, they gather it up. You open your hand, they are filled and satisfied with good things. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. It is only when he has opened his hand that you would be able to gather and be satisfied. It is only when his hand is opened that your desires would be granted. There is no other right way to see those yearnings, those pains, those challenges taken away except by his hand, and you must engage for you to have it to come to your aid and rescue. When you engage God, his mighty hand goes to work for you, and even your enemy would feel the blow. They would be at the receiving end, receiving the torture. 1 Samuel 5, verse 6 through 9. Then the hand of the Lord was heavy on the people of Ashdod, and he caused them to be dumbfounded and struck them with tremors, both Ashdod and its territory. 7. When the men of Ashdod saw what had happened, they said, The ark of the God of Israel must not remain with us. For his hand is heavy on us, and on Dagon our God. 8. So they sent word and gathered all the lords, governors of the Philistines, to them and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? They answered, Let the ark of the God of Israel be brought around to Gath. So they took the ark of the God of Israel there. 9. But it happened that after they had taken it to Gath, the hand of the Lord was against the city, causing an extremely great panic because of the deaths from the plague. For he struck the people of the city, both young and old, and tumors broke out on them. Zephaniah 1 verse 4 I will also stretch out my hand in judgment against Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will cut off and destroy the remnant of Baal from this place and the names and remembrance of the Edeltraus priests along with the false priests. Isaiah 19 verse 16 On that day the Egyptians will become like helpless women and they will tremble and be frightened because of the waving of the hand of the Lord of hosts which he is going to wave over them. When the hand of the Lord is short and engaged, it puts your enemy to war until your victory is won back, until your captivity and pain is shattered. 
Jesus performed wonders on earth because the hand of the Lord was mighty upon him. By the mighty hand, he raised the dead, healed the sick, fed thousand, delivered the oppressed, and went around doing good. By the stretching of hand, the sea was claimed. A change took place. The mighty hand of God is necessary for rescue and change. The mighty hand of God is the force that propels deliverance from every pain or situation. Job 12 verse 9 through 10 Who among all these does not recognize in all these things that good and evil are randomly scattered throughout nature and human life, that the hand of the Lord has done this? In whose hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? Jeremiah 32 verse 17 Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm. There is nothing too difficult or too wonderful for you. The hand of the Lord is mighty. It is always ready to work for us. The hand of the Lord was what made things to be. Nothing was made or done without his hands. By his mighty hand, nations were delivered from captivity. Territories were taken over. Deliverance was worked. System and nature were brought into check. It is time for you to come back to the one who made you with his hands and nothing would be hard or difficult for you again. His hand would eliminate whatever has been a burden causing pain and sorrow in your life. It is your time. The hand of God would work to your favor. Hallelujah.